You know, I need to get better at spewing commentary quickly when there's a big piece of news. At least if it's liberty related and I've got something worth saying. And I think I do actually have something worth saying about this uh, shooting, uh, the Connecticut school shooting. And it took me a while to really think of anything useful to say. And that just what happens to me a lot. I just don't have anything to say the first couple of days when everyone else is talking about something. It's only after it's happened uh, and, and, and it's kind of uh, absorbed into me. But anyway, I think a good tack... Uh, in talking to people about this, or if it comes up in conversation, as it often does, a good way to bring the liberty message to this issue and the liberty solution to this issue is to talk about all the force that was used on the students by the authorities before the gunman even got there. The force that was used on them that made it possible for the gunman to do his dirty work and do it easily. First, the students were forced to be there why do the students have to be forced to be there exactly? Yeah, I realize there are some ways out of it. You can jump through a bunch of hoops and become a homeschooler. You can jump through a bunch of hoops and pay extra money and become a private school student, that kind of thing. But basically, you're forced to be in the government schools. Only a small percentage of people can really avoid it, uh, can really afford to avoid it or, or have the time to avoid it. So that's force use number one. Uh, and the second thing is, of course, uh, force was used on their parents to make them pay for these schools. That's not too much connected to the gunman. Uh, but then the third use of force is the force that they will use on anyone who is prepared to defend that school. I mean, if you go in there, if you're a, you know, 25 year old teacher and you bring your 38 uh, Smith and Wesson with you to work, you know, maybe you're afraid of a domestic violence situation at home and you have to you have to have it with you at all times. I don't know. Um, and uh, let's say you uh, you have a crazy man come into your school and you whip out your thirty eight and you uh, peaceably, you know, more or less peaceably, without actually shooting the guy, you stop the situation. You're going to jail in Connecticut. It's the end for you. You will not see light for, you know, probably weeks. And then your sentence later on will probably be uh, for uh, years. So. That's the other force they used. We don't have a above, you know, the the above all do no harm concept has never occurred to the government. If if they would just do nothing, then these kinds of uh, these massacres would be well, at least people would have a fighting chance. More often than not, they would be shootouts rather than massacres. In many cases, they probably wouldn't even happen. Uh, I'd, I'd say more often than not, they wouldn't even happen if the shooters knew that everywhere people have got firearms. But I don't know that, you know, I mean, I don't know exactly what all the results of all the different, you know, legislative repeals might be. I just know that that, that Hippocratic Oath, above all, do no harm. If government took that oath and at least got out of the way of people who want to defend their children or defend their schools or, 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 or not send their kids to the schools, that would ameliorate the situation to a large extent. Even if it didn't, then it would still at least be a reduction in the use of force by the government and the expenditure by the government. All of that is stolen money. So the less stealing there is in the world, that's better. Even if the same number of shootings happen, at least we've improved on the number of stealings. The solutions, this solution is so simple and cheap. That's the thing. People always say freedom isn't free, but actually that's not true. Freedom is, is free. It's actually, it costs nothing. That's the entire definition of it is the government's not spending any money. That's freedom. So instead of this Joe Biden running, I'm Joe Biden and I'm going to set up a commission and or program to deal with this problem and work up recommendations and complicated this, complicated that, expensive yada yada, expensive this and that. Well, first of all, Joe Biden ought to be probably asking himself how much violence he's used, whether he could reduce the amount that he's using. You know, I mean, his people has sexually assaulted me. You saw the video. So talk about the uh, black widow guarding the sleeping baby. But no, none of that complicated stuff is needed. A plan is not needed. What is needed is for the government to start doing nothing. That's all. There'll still be some shootings. There'll still be some problems in the world. This would at least reduce 
uh, you would either reduce the number of shootings, or it would give people a fighting chance, or it would reduce the amount of theft that the government's undertaking. Because all this stuff, all these so-called solutions that the authorities are talking about, they're all funded through theft. They are stealing money straight out of your wallet in order to make possible their plan, which will probably increase violence. Anyway, that's the tact that's worked best for me, is just talking again about why are these children forced to be in these schools if authorities can't guarantee and won't even allow people to guarantee their safety.